guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with my first ever empties video. And because I am known for being a bit of a kleptomaniac, and I think that's the right word, don't hold me to it, I have a lot of stuff. I realized a few months ago whilst moving house that I have too many beauty products and too many things that the point that I do not need to buy any more things until I use them all up. So I've started that process. And today I'm gonna to show you the things I've used up so far. So first little box has got all things, makeup, nail varnish, little bits and bobs and things like that. So the first thing, if we can find it, <laughs> First thing that I've got is the Sally Hansen Green Tea and Bamboo Strengthener. I started using this when I was in university because of all the late nights, lack of good food. My nails, which are normally really long and people know me for it, went really bad and weak and peeled. So this is a brilliant product. It's about, it retails between seven and eight quid. Love it. I'd use it for a base coat, I'd use it for a top coat. I know you're probably not supposed to do that, but I did and it really worked wonders for my nails. So if you're willing to pay money for a really good strengthener that's healthy for your nails, definitely I recommend this one. Next thing is another nail varnish and I've had this for years. It's the Collection 2000 when it used to be called Collection 2000 Last in Colour, just the clear one. This is about 350 I think, 320 if you want to be specific. specific. This I just use as a good base coat, sometimes definitely top coat, good cheap, sometimes use the Rimmel London one, whatever one I can get to hand. Definitely be repurchasing this. Don't think I could get any more out of it even if I put acetone in it, so definitely gonna get a new one of these. The next thing that I've got, which I think I'm in denial and don't wanna get rid of, because I've had for years, the Urban Decay Dreamy Moisturizing Setting Spray. This has still got some in it, and I don't wanna throw it out, because it's so good. So this retails at $30, I know. Don't try and get me to do the maths because it's just not gonna work. So yeah, this I love. It just, you can put it under your makeup, above your makeup. They do great ones. They've changed the packaging to all white with purple writing, which looks sleeker. Definitely recommend this company for set and spreads. They do ones for dry skin, oily skin, all different types of skin. Love this and definitely be repurchasing some this. The next thing is a mascara and this is I still use this for separating my lashes, and this is the number seven lash. What? And this is the number seven lash impact. Love this stuff. It's got little fibers in it. The brush is amazing. Separates your lashes brilliantly. Just all ground, good product. Thirteen pound fifty retails at. Really good, my friends. Love it. Perfect for even just finishing off your mascara if you're one of those people that builds brilliant thing and I'll definitely be purchasing this once I finish my very real. Once I finish my very real. The next product I've got is in bronzing matte powder in matte bronze and I've had this thing for two years and it has lasted me a lifetime. I only ever use it for contouring and yes I'm one of those girls that rarely uses a lot of makeup so yes it, it has lasted me a while. It retails at £21. It's a perfect matte not muddy, not orange bronzer. People love Hula by Benefit. I love this one. I will try other bronzers, but at the minute I'm just using the Rimmel London one and it retails at $6.99. And if you can't get the budget for this, don't worry, there's definitely a lot more drugstore bronzers out there and I'll do a video on it for you guys if you like, so just leave it in the bottom. Next thing is a product I've had for years and I've had a love-hate relationship with it and I keep coming back to it, keep going away from it. It's the Rimmel. Matte, stay matte, um, the things come off. Stay matte pressed powder, and this is in transparent. I used to use this as a kid, kid, teenager. Used to dry my face out, now I use it. As people know me, I don't wear foundation, I just use powder, preferably transparent. This, even though it's transparent, still has a certain amount of coverage. Love this stuff, definitely recommend it to people. It is about four pounds, so it's really good. I either vary between this and my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Natural and yeah, so if you'd like a good transparent powder, a lot of people have been going back to this and I definitely recommend it and when it runs out, I will buy it again. Next thing is Nail Manish Remover and this, I know it's supposed to be good because it's 
acetone free and it's a super drug nourishing nail varnish remover. I don't like it. I don't know whether it's because I've never had problems with my nails to need the nourishment or I don't know. I just, I can't deal with having to use like 10 cotton pads just to get my nail varnish off. I know acetone is bad for your nails but a small amount won't go that bad. Like it's, it's not going to affect it. This has got aloe vera and vitamin E in it and if you need that for your nails, fair enough. It is a good nail varnish remover. I always get super drug. I usually get the acetone one, which is purple. This one is pink, and it's 109, 1.09 pence. Don't know why I said it that way, but yeah, I've still got a bit left. I can get myself to use it. I might keep it just for the odd day if my nails are dead sensitive. But if you like something like this, definitely get this one. But I recommend the purple version. So yeah. So next we have skincare, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is my best friend. I only recently got into this about this time last year. I used to go through all the different like tea tree washes and I'll show you them in a minute. Used to try and do things. I'd never use Clean and Clear. I never use a certain brand because I've heard stories that your skin gets used to and you can't ever stop, which is the worst thing ever. And my mom taught me that and I'm so glad. I was brought out with just washing your face with soap and water basically or even just water just to get the dirt off. And it really has held me justice. But a week of using this twice a day, my skin had never been better and it has been the exact same. Minus the all breakout, which is normal, this stuff is crazy good and it's a Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. Amazing, it is 8 99 but you only need the tiniest amount. If you literally go like an inch over the amount you need, you have the most oiliest face ever. Definitely one of my holy grail products that I use now. I don't use anything, as I said, on my face only soap and water and not even soap sometimes just water and this and it's it's all I do anymore and as I said the only kind of products and soap I would use is tea tree yeah tea tree face wash and exfoliating and scrub these are amazing they've got tea tree and peppermint oil in them and they just do wakens your face up the scrub has got enough beads in it not too harsh not harsh enough. It's just perfect and they're a good combination. I've used both these up. My boyfriend uses this as well. So yeah, everyone seems to like them and they retail about $3.50 each and they do really good face masks and oil blotting sheets and all sorts of tea tree things you could ever think of. So I'll definitely be getting these if I ever need them but I'm trying to use them all up at the minute because I have about three of each. So yeah, if you're looking for something natural, not as natural as the Body Shop products, but natural enough for your skin to still breathe and not get used to a product, these are definitely your thing. The next thing is number seven, Beautiful Skin Eye Mix Remover. This stuff is the only stuff I have yet to find. Probably the micellar water would do it. This is the only thing that takes off my tattoo eyeliner from seven, I think. I think that's what it is. This stuff is a double composite thing that you shake, it's blue, and it retails at 8 50 If you're willing to pay more money, again, there are things on the market that are cheaper, but I personally find this is the best thing for me. So I will definitely repurchase this. The minute I'm trying to use all my other products up, but these will, this will be one of the things that I will repurchase. The next thing is, of course, makeup wipes. These are simple kind of skin cleansing facial wipes that everyone and their mothers use. I love these things, but recently I've just been using baby wipes. <laughs> I'm going to sound like such like a person that's just going back to reality, back to the simple things. I sound like a song. <laughs> nah, they are really good, simple. <laughs> excuse the pun. Simple, basic, natural makeup remi makeup remover wipes that take off any makeup, even that eyeliner that I was talking about. So yeah definitely been purchasing these. So, in the last part of this video, it's gonna be all things body, hair, just miscellaneous stuff really. So, the first thing we're gonna get into is Tresemme Instant Refresh Dry Shampoo. Dry Shampoo is my best friend. Like, it really is. Any girl these days, I swear to God, we don't wash her hair. It's disgusting. Anywho, <laughs> this stuff retails, I got it on offer, but it retails about five pounds. This stuff though, Amazing, doesn't drag your hair down, doesn't feel gritty, feels amazing, smells nice, perfect. Definitely be repurchasing this. The next thing is this, and there is a little bit left, and I am going to use it obviously. Tresemme Liquid Gold. This stuff is argan oil, and it is, it is gold. Like, it is so good. 
my I used to use one that I used to get from my hairdressers after a friend giving me her leftovers. This stuff is so good. Retails again, quite expensive. I got it on a three for two offer, seven pounds. It is good and I will definitely be repurchasing this. This stuff doesn't weigh your hair down, makes you feel like you've been to the hairdressers. So, so nice. So definitely be repurchasing this. Next thing is boring, but still Imperial Leather Body Wash or Shower Cream. And this is Oriental Calm. I can't remember. Oh yeah, this one reminds me of my student days. Even though I'm still a student, this reminds me of like my proper student days. I find the only body wash that actually agrees with my skin is this, our Femme Wash, which we'll get into in another video. This is the only shower cream that works for me, and you can get it on offer in Asda. This, I think, was a pound. You can go down to as far as EDP, go up to as far as 150, wherever you find. Definitely be repurchasing this. I've got a new one at the minute, still Imperial Leather, just a different flavour and I think a different like category sort of situation but yeah definitely getting this again next thing is this <laughs> definitely use this till there's nothing left this stuff I love I absolutely love this stuff I'm a big girl for I'm a big girl I'm a big fan of moisturizer that dries straight away this stuff is the Garnier 7 Days Smooth Gel Cream Absorbing Instantly. And it's the peach one. And, oh my goodness, the gel consistency is, I think, the reason why I love it so much. It is like a silicone feeling of, you know, like a prim eyeshadow primer or something. That kind of feeling, but it just soaks in, makes you feel so soft, lasts, actually, I'd say it lasts pretty darn long. 7 Days, don't know, haven't tried it, but your skin feels amazing. And you can see from this, like I, I, I love it. Like I've cut it apart simply <laughs> to get into it. And this, I think, I think, I can't remember how much it was. Five pounds, I think. Good, you can get it on offer. You can get a lot of Garnier stuff, like three for two or two for a tenner and stuff like that. This stuff, yeah, it's not going back together. <laughs> Loves, I'll definitely be getting this again. So the next thing is, Body scrub. I don't like this stuff. I have one more pot of this, I think. Two, one, maybe two. I hate it. Like, I, I absolutely hate it, and I wish I hadn't bought as much as what I had because I used to love it. But now, after experiencing fiction from Soap and Glory, this is crap. Excuse my language, crap. See, and I have apricot body scrub invigorating for all skin types. The consistency of this, I can't even, this, the smell as well, it's like sand. It, you think sand would be good for your skin, like the way people use sugar scrubs, but this, although the one thing it is good for is if you're a waxer, it does get the hairs right in there and get some out. But I find with fiction, it moisturizes at the same time, whereas this dries the heck out of your skin. So this, Depending, I think I got three for five, or maybe if I'm lucky, I think that's what it was. But I think it's five fifty in the retail. Definitely will not to be repurchasing this. Last few products. This has been a long video. This is the Carino Coconut Conditioner. I had this ages ago. I mean ages ago. I finished the shampoo a while ago. Of course, conditioner, as you know, if you're a fellow girl, you always have more left over. So this is a knockoff from Aldi for the Alberto Balsam. It's it's good. It's about 60p. Can't even use my words. 60p, but I won't be repurchasing this. Just no. But speaking of this, this is the Handy Oxen's Blueberry Shampoo by Alberto Balsam. It is 99p, one pound, depends where you get it. Love this stuff, always will, always have. End of discussion. We'll back be buying this. So oh, well done if you managed to last this long. It was a long, long video of a lot of empties and there'll be lots more to come because I have so many products that I need to use. So if you guys like this video and want to see more from me, just give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. All my links will be in the description box and don't be afraid to leave some comments just to say hi or even any suggestions of videos that you'd like to see because 
I'm here to provide you guys the videos that you want to see, any tutorials, makeup tutorials, hairstyles, anything you can think of, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye!